Ebola. What comes to your mind when I say that? Panic, disease, epidemic, maybe even death. Now, what comes to your mind when I say the word Legionella? Nothing, right? <laughs> but presumably, most of you didn't know about Ebola until it was too late. To tell you a bit about Legionella, it's a bacterial pathogen that causes pneumonia-like illnesses and even death in people with compromised immune systems, so the young, the old, and the sick. One contracts it by inhaling it, at which point it invades white blood cells of the lungs and then uses these in order to reproduce itself. You typically find these bacteria in man-made water systems, by which I mean things like showers, pipes, toilets, cooling towers, fountains, jacuzzis, etc. I mention Legionella and Ebola together because they're both sources of infectious disease. And when it comes to infectious diseases, I find the phrase, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, comes in really handy. Because I mean, it's better to keep a problem from happening than to try and fix it once it actually happened, right? And how do you prevent a microbe from becoming a problem in the first place? By finding and detecting it. And this is where I come in. My name is Miriam, and to significantly improve our ability to find this insidious bug, I am designing a biological probe called an aptamer. An aptamer is far more superior to another probe you all may know as antibodies. So antibodies are what current diagnostic tests detect in your body in order to know if you're infected. For example, you get strep, your body has an immune response, and it produces strep tococcus antibodies. An aptamer is far more superior because you don't need an immune response to make it nor a specific condition like 37 degrees Celsius. And what that just means is it's easier to create against any target, be it a drug, or in this case, a bacteria, and you can select for the conditions in which you want your probe to work. My goal is that by making this aptamer, we will significantly improve our ability to find Legionella, a bug that in the last 15 years has quadrupled incidence of its disease in North America alone. My hope is that the advent of this new tool will help a doctor in a hospital, an administrator at a school, or a sanitation worker for the government make an informed decision and take the appropriate safety measures when dealing with Legionella so we don't end up having another Ebola on our hands. Thank you for your time so much. Thank you.